how in the world do I follow that? That's um, amazing. I want to let you guys know how humbled I am to see the hands raised and and um, to be a part of this show and the ability to, to share this with you guys is amazing. I want to share another quick story with you, and if you will indulge me, I hope in the end you'll, uh, you'll be glad I did. About 20 years ago, I, I married the Maggie of, uh, of my life, and um, we were trying to furnish a new house. We were brand new, and uh, we went to some storage auction, a storage sale auction, right across the road. Back then, they didn't sell the buildings like you see on TV. It's the complete buildings. They sold the components, the individual components. So as they would get to the bottom of the end of the building, a lot of times they just bring out a cardboard box. Here it is. You want it? Take it. Two dollars, three dollars. Here it is. I picked up a couple of those and took them home. And when I opened up one of those boxes, I found a brown leather satchel. And inside that satchel, I held it up to my wife, and I'm like, here it is. Here's the money. Here's all the bank bag. Here's the bank bag. Here's all the money we need. we got everything covered now. We're good. And looked in the bag, and to my dismay, as a young 20-some-odd-year-old, it, it was letters. Um, no money. Nothing of value to me. It was letters. I, I got to looking into the letters, and most of the letters were written to and from uh, a lady named Kathleen. Kathleen Moss from up in Huntersville, to her sons William and John, who were a couple of the heroes that, that <clears throat> served in World War II protecting us. Um, of course, as I said, at the time the letters meant very little to me, and so uh, what happened was they kind of went on the shelf. My mom was an English teacher and mentioned that maybe she could use the letters in some of her classes. And um, I said, sure. Take them. They're yours. They're of no value to me. So she did. And I forgot about them. And they were gone. They were out of my life. And they were gone. So about two years ago, not this past Thanksgiving, but the Thanksgiving before, I was helping my mom move some stuff at her house, and I came across that satchel again. And the difference in me from then to now is that about five years ago, an airway asked me to participate in this show. And as you'll see in the show coming up, my character, when he, when the letters stop coming, it breaks his heart. And when I saw those letters again, I spent most of the Good Friday after Thanksgiving while all the ladies were shopping and sitting there going through those letters and reading those letters one at a time. And at that point in time, I made my determination that I was not going to stop until I found the rightful owners of those letters and, and, and hit a lot of dead ends along the way. And I won't fill in the, the minutiae in the middle of that, but... About two or three weeks before Christmas of last year, I found the son, the, 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 three, th the three sons actually, but I found one of the sons of, of William, who was one of the young um, gentlemen in, in, in World War II, and uh, I contacted him multiple times. I called him, I called him, I called him. No answer, no answer, no answer, and finally he picked up. And uh, after some exchange, and after me sharing some of the personal information that was in the letters, he believed I was who I was. And it is my great honor to have that family as my guest today. And we would like to present these letters to Dave and Bob, if you would, come down here with me. This is the satchel. And folks, if I had found a bag of money, it would have been worth far less and what I'm holding in my hands right now. Thank you. We're honored. Now, that's enough of that. Enjoy the show, and we'll see you after. Thank you, Glenn. Well, it is great to have this family.